Hi everyone. Today I am doing something a little bit different because these are not my books. I don't own these books. I have never read these books. These books belong to my son who has just recently turned 13 and he got these beautiful hardcover illustrated editions of Harry Potter for his bar mitzvah and I took one look at them and I thought I have to show them off on the channel because they are gorgeous and beautiful. Unfortunately, only the first five have been released so far, uh, and I heard that the illustrator, uh, Jim Kay, is retired due to health reasons and is not going to continue with book six and seven. So hopefully uh, the publisher will find someone else to continue the series because these are gorgeous and beautiful. And I'll show you. Um, just a disclaimer, I have never read any of the Harry Potter books. They are on my TBR. I will eventually read Harry Potter. Uh, but at the moment, I have not. And everything I know about Harry Potter just comes from the movies, which I know is not the same thing. Anyway, we'll start with the Philosopher's Stone. You can see this gorgeous dust jacket. They all have a ribbon bookmark. Under the dust jacket, they all are a different color hardcover book. Just going to move these back a bit. Right. Have the end papers. And then we go in the inside, and the whole book is illustrated. These gorgeous full color illustrations. So as I said, I've not read Harry Potter yet, but if anything can get me to read them sooner than I was going to, uh, these editions will do that, I think. Almost, almost every page has illustrations on. Beautiful. I'll quickly show some of the others. Here's a Chamber of Secrets. So it has an orange in cover on the inside and an orange bookmark ribbon. And again, different end papers again, and also gorgeous illustrations by Jim K. So hopefully, hopefully Broomsbury will find someone to replace him, um, well not replace him, to succeed him uh, in completing the series, because I'd hate to think that this, uh, these editions would be an incomplete series of just books one to five. Um, and I'm pretty sure my son would absolutely love to have a complete set like this as well, him being a huge Harry Potter fan. For some reason, I keep skipping the pages with the illustrations on. Sorry. <laughs> and a gorgeous double page spread here. These books are actually quite big and quite heavy. Prisoner of Azkaban. So 
So the paper is this um, sort of, not matte, it's sort of like a glossy, slightly shiny paper. Um, almost like you'd find in um, in like omnibus editions of comic of comics uh, and graphic novels type paper. Uh, you can see the actual text is in written in two columns. This is so they can fit the, the, all the illustrations in it because the books are quite big. And of course, as you get further on in the series, they get bigger and bigger and more and more pages. So this, I think, was a way of them keeping the page count down. I think it is sewn binding. Yeah. Two more to go. tentacles. I'm sure he's going to absolutely enjoy and love reading these. And then when he's done, I will borrow them from him. This is the biggest one so far in terms of page count. We're looking at a plan of the Ministry of Magic. Notice they all sort of have their own um, sort of color palette. They, they don't all share the same color palette. It definitely starts out lighter and then as you get progress through the books the uh, the art style gets just that little bit darker as the and the characters grow up. Okay, everyone, so there we have it. The first five volumes of Harry Potter, uh, written by J.K. Rowling and illustrated by Jim Kay. Uh, illustrated hardcover editions. 
Uh, if I hope you enjoyed the brief glimpse inside of these books. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, then maybe just consider uh, giving us a thumbs up, clicking like below, and maybe if you want to see more of this sort of thing, if you enjoy books as much as I do, um, then perhaps consider subscribing. Thank you.